Okay, before we had current flowing through a wire in a magnetic field which created a force on the wire. Now we have a free charge that's moving into a magnetic field. So because current is defined as the rate of flow of positive charge, this the current is in the same direction as the velocity of the particle. So the current is towards the right. So we can figure out the force on this particle by applying Fleming's left hand rule. Current towards right field into the page, we get force upwards. So the particle is going to curve around like this. It's going to go upwards like that. Now the particle is moving towards the top right with the velocity. So therefore the current is also in that direction. So now if you apply Fleming's left hand rule again, you'll find that the force is now this way. So again, it's going to curve around. When you apply Fleming's left hand rule, you find the force is this way. You can see there's always a force that's at right angle to the velocity of the particle. And this force is always pointing towards the center of some circle. So the, the magnetic force is providing a centripetal force, causing the charged particle to move in a circular motion. Okay, now we have a negative charge moving towards the right. But the problem with this is, current is defined as the flow of positive charge. So in this case, if we wanted the conventional current, it's actually towards the left, is in the opposite direction to which an electron is moving. So if we apply Fleming's left hand rule, taking current toward, to be towards the left, field into the page, we'll find that the force on the particle that's moved into this field, if it's moving that way, the force is going to be downwards. So it's going to curve around like this. So once it's over here, now the current is going in the opposite direction to the velocity of the electron. And you find that the force is this way. Again, it's going to curve around, keep going around with the force towards the center of the circle. Moving in circular motion. Okay, now determine if the uh, if the charge of the particle is positive or negative. So in this question, we have charged particle going into the field. So that we know the field, the first finger should be pointing into the field. Now the next question is, well, if it's moving towards the right, there must be a centripetal force. Let's take this point here towards the center of the uh, field there, center of the circle. So if we point our first finger into the field and our thumb towards the right, we find that the current is actually in the opposite direction to the motion. So the particle is going that way, but the current is going that way. Now that must mean that this particle is negative. So it's negative charge, possibly an electron or something like that.